Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave with the Ecto and Norm Jam. <gasps> Dude. One six vehicle time. <laughs> One six vehicles are, they are a, um, a hobby for someone with a lot of space. <laughs> this is, this is we, we are having issues just holding on to this and the Batmobile and the DeLorean and finding a display space for them. And well, the, the, the pressure's just doubled because we got more. But um, this was from Blitzway last yes. year. Yes, Big Mac Toy Store sent this to us. This was a long sold out 1984 Ecto-1 that Blitzway released. Unweathered. Uh, 10 years ago. Uh, like a pristine Miller Oh Meteor. my goodness. And you know, like you said, we have the DeLorean, we have the, the Tumblr, we have the, the one from the Batman. This dwarves them all. It's yeah. so long as it's, a vehicle. It, it, it's, it's hilarious to put the DeLorean next to this in the same scale, because it's literally like just over half as long. Yeah. It seems absolutely <laughs> tiny. Uh, uh, but yes, we did a, do, a deep dive into this. You unbox it, and since then, you know, you got your 3D printers. I did. And you did your own build. I made some little tiny proton packs oh, to so populate the gurney. Oh. And I've never got around to the second part of this build, which was to add some lights into these. Um, I have recently gotten the coin cell battery holders that I just would have been in my outbox forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I will eventually get these guys lit up on the gurney that can go in here but maybe renewed motivation. I feel a renewed motivation because of what today's uh, today's unboxing yeah. is about. And, and, and unboxing is the name of oh the game. Oh my goodness, because let's take a look at this box. <laughs> it's the same size box as the Ecto, because it's another Ecto. That is... <sighs> I know it seems like this is a fairly big space, and it is, right? I've got a couple thousand square feet here, but when... Something like this arrives, man, it gums everything up for a while. You know, and this is a box within a box. Within, within a box, a box. Yeah, 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 this is the shipper. Yeah, and in collector parlance, the brown box that comes from the factory <laughs> is known as the shipper, and some collectors like keeping the shippers. Increases I, the mm -hmm. repackaging, the moving value, the shipping value. I don't think... We're... I don't keep the shippers. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I always assume that's a problem. I can kick down the road. I really respect and appreciate the people who keep all the shipping materials. Yeah. It, I would need a, a. I would need a fourth storage space. Yeah, I have three. Okay, so, let's start breaking um, this open. Ooh. Oh yeah. So now we've got. <laughs> let's get rid of the uh, the air. Okay, uh, I think we take this down and yep. bring it back up. Okay. So we take the shipper down. Now I gotta give Kyle, this does come again via Big Bad Toy Store. Mm -hmm. They found extra ones of this long sold out one that they were able to send us one. And I've ordered stuff from them before. They also put their own boxes over the shipper boxes. This one came from the factory, oh. so they didn't do that. So it comes with an even bigger box. Yeah, when that Ecto first came, that first one, it was in another oh brown box. Oh my God, oh wow. All right. <laughs> so when we were on the set of Afterlife, yeah. we saw you drove. I got to drive. You got to drive the, the original, Ecto. Oh, one of the OG Ecto ones. Right, well the one they built for, mm -hmm. for Afterlife. Yes, and, yes, and, yes, and, and then they had newly weathered uh, and when they announced this, it wasn't just that they were going to put all the rust and the stuff on the outside, the, the interior. I mean, it's it's like a new a new configuration. They did the gunner's chair. Oh, I did not realize they did the gunner's yeah. chair. Yeah, that was one of the earliest things Jason told me about that the new movie would have. Um, oh my gosh! I, and and I know it was not a simple rig to get working on mm -hmm. set. It actually comes with what looks like a book, <laughs> not just a manual, but an actual. Whole book. Okay, there's a part separator. Oh, fascinating. It looks like they've done some things for shipping. Will so, Adam read the manual? Will he I, read the manual? I always read the manual. Does he though? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's All bring right. this back down and then back up. This is a this is a dance, man. Uh, here we go. Uh, if you grab with one yep. hand, you can push the box with the other. There we go. Look at that. There's a Ghostbusters logo built into the tool. <laughs> these, I always save yeah. these. Oh, these yeah. are in oh, my yeah. Velcro yep, box. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, 
Okay, so I think, is there, no, oh, no. I think we're ready. Okay. Well, let's, let's lift this way. Yeah, top comes off. Oh, oh, look at the difference. Oh, wait, there's something in here. Oh yeah, there's actually some secret compartments. Here. Yes, oh, yes, yes. Oh, there's a whole, look at that. Ah. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, just right away, while we can take a look at these things. So you can see some tooling, yeah, right. Some toolings were used, mm -hmm. but obviously some's going to be different on the interior. And they've done at least a three-color weathering pass on this. Yeah. It looks like three or four colors. Really nice, yeah. subtle work here. Whoa, something just fell off. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, okay, that one went there. Okay, there we go. I see they still have the music player. Yep, the MP3 yep, player and, on the and inside. still with a, uh, a SD card yeah. slot there and a charging slot. This is beautiful. That like weathering right there around the edges here. Really beautiful. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So we'll put this guy down. You know, one of the most fun parts of that visit was going to the art department. And you had that conversation with the art director. I don't know if it made it in the video, but he was showing us their concept art progression of how weathered the Ecto was would get throughout the film. Yes. Right? Because yeah. you know the film shoots out of order and they would need to know when Trevor first finds it in oh, the right, barn. Of course, and how you've got to be able to up and down it. it. And they gotta go yep. change it exactly for the shot. So I wonder how much access the uh Let's Let's got to yeah. those exact for that exact information, you know? You know, manufacturers always tell me they don't have, they have much less than you think. Than you think, yeah, right. yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, oh. we're gonna have to, it's really lovely. I love the windshield, how dirty oh. that is. That's Look at so that! Cool. I know, you tried to wipe it off! I was actually trying to wipe it off, <laughs> but it's dusty with the windshield oh. wipers. And it follows the current. That is cool. That really is. So, uh, here right. we go. You want to get rid of that uh, little plastic there? There you go. Dude. <laughs> okay. There are parts. Here's some antenna. Oh, yeah. There's a fun assembly here. We've got some antennas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've got some. Uh... Yeah. There we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, proton pack. There's a proton pack. Oh, and look at our TV. Sorry, I don't mean to yell or scream, but there's an RTV and a proton pack. I'm beside myself. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. <laughs> that's adorable. That is everything in here. Okay. Cool. So, there is uh, assembly of plug pieces. Manual. Let's see here. We've got... Oh, 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 I see. That is... Aha. I have a bit of hot glue that went undone, so I'm going to put it back in. Eight triple A's. Eight triple A's. I've got them. Give me just a sec, though. Shall I walk us through the, man the assembly? Please. Uh, I'm going to do some plugging in here. Okay. Um, that is the front. Yes, and they're all color coded. Yep. Black, red. There's five connectors. Right. There's. Uh, and they're. They're all color coded, so they do the same thing. There's yep. two black, red ones. There's a blue and black, and there's a red and black. Mm -hmm. um, two red blacks, one black yellow, and one white yellow. Okay. Okay. That is all the connections. Gotta light up. I, I believe it does. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, look at There's that beautiful thrower. little yeah. proton pack. Oh, the sticker work is annoyingly beautiful. Wow. Okay, that's on. And then. Then there's this, this guy that yep. sits on top of there. And this as well. <clears throat> that is a. Here. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. And, and then, then we'll do. Uh, oh, right. We've got. Uh, yep. Right. 
there. This business. Excellent. And then and there's the yep, this yep. business, which goes there and faces Two forward. Detectors. Yep. Let's do this yep. first. And that goes. And with the two brackets, which I it's have. It's on this side, right? Yes. Yep. Excellent. And that is in Lake Flynn, and we and have, have brackets. Two brackets. So that is, I'm assuming that. The bracket. smaller one is the top one, and the bigger opening is the bottom one. Ah, all right. Come on. There you go. Ah, good. And then this one also tilts up? That's correct. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, and that's on the that right side? That goes right on top of, or right next to. Yep, I can yep, see yep. the places it goes to. Excellent. Oh, wow, look at that. Just slots right in. You're correct, yep. And, that and then piece this guy. Right here. Oh, great, okay. And it's... It aims down yep. like... So. That's correct. Okay. And then that bracket is in here. There you go. And this one also tilts, tilts up, down. Uh, up. Oh, got it. Yep. Yep. And then antenna. Antenna. It's one right here and I'll another I one think right it's here. The straight one. And then there's the angled one. That's this bit. Mm -hmm. That and goes that, in the right. The side, of, that will be where a handle goes. Uh, I believe that goes in the back on the other side right here. Ah, so you're right. And then this gets and, um, yep, swayed that gets in there, right? In to the top. Yep, right there. <clears throat> yep, yep, yep. Oh, so sorry. I just looked inside. It looks really cool in there. Um, uh, are we done with the assembly? I think we are almost done with the assembly. I don't see any other parts. We've got the RTV. We've got the, hold on, I just have to fondle this for a second. Where does the battery go in here? Oh, it is a coin cell. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, let's go get that. The size is pretty darn close, Adam. Oh, dude, I nailed it. That's mine? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God, the detail work on this is incredible. Don't see lights. Um, is there a button? What the, does it imagine. really not say that there's a button? Yeah, correct. I looked for where the hidden switch was. No hidden switch in this I one. looked there too. <laughs> oh, here it is on the bottom. Okay, great. Now I know where the switch is. Okay, so let's undo this. I'll bet I had the correct. Yeah. Bottom center is where the switch is. Here, will you, uh, there we go. Okay. All right, we got it. You got it? Yeah. Oh, that took a minute. We've got cycling cyclotron and blue lights oh, and oh, a little cycles. bit of red coming out of the side. Wow. Dude. <laughs> That's awesome. I know, I know, that was worth it. And being able to just see six, not one, not two, but six proton packs all together. Um, this, like, nothing makes me happier. And now, of course, I've got a lot of sticker work to do. That's the renewed motivation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How are we doing? Uh, batteries are in. I think it's time to look at the inside. Okay, wait, so we can turn this on. Um, yeah, I, I believe so. So one switch is here. Yep, there That's you go. That's the top, and then down on the bottom, Ooh. there's one more. Ooh. That's fast. Oh. Uh, they move that switch to the inside, I believe. Oh. Oh, right, and this guy, yeah, there we go. And that's, I Oh, believe. look at that, they, the whole RTV case is in here. Oh my Dude. God. Dude, that's incredible. Oh Correct. my God, the RTV drop-down actually works. Yes. That's totally amazing. And then you there's open a that. button. You have the drop-off here. Yeah. <laughs> that's for the RTV, that like comes down, and the RTV goes in. Yeah, go ahead, drop it. Look at that! <laughs> All right, gunner chair. Gunner chair, yeah. Come on over here, Josh. Here comes the gunner chair. Oh, swings out. Swings out. And that's where the proton pack lives. Oh, it lives here. Because it oh, can mount right. here. We'll need to take out the frame. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Here comes this guy. All right. And does he come out there like that? Uh, no. I think he comes up. Okay. All the way up. Yeah. Right. And be careful not to pinch the hose. There it goes. Don't pinch the hose. Um, wait. Ah, that's it. Now I see. Oh, wow. That's a really cool enclosure. Look at that. And then you can still access the power. Oh, yeah. Oh, it turned it off. Okay, right. So there's a little, that little tiny nubbin down there is for turning the switch on and off. Mm -hmm. um, and then that points. Wow. And so that the Phoebe Spangler can point the Neutrona one. Oh, man. That's incredible. I know that this was a real tough rig they had for the gunner's chair. Whole new mechanism. I mean, right? Everything about this. So um, there we go. That's a little better. Um, that makes this much more than just a repaint. I mean, obviously, some of the same tooling, some yeah, of the yeah, same injection yeah. molds are used, but the new mechanism for the door, for the gunner's chair, for the RTV, having both accessories, and really, I I'm I love this. It's paint shop. Everything about it is like a, a, a 2x improvement over the predecessor, which is uh, topo topologically perfect. But the, the level of detailing in this is insane. And uh, like starting even with just the worn leather of the gunner's chair mm -hmm. is like, that is gorgeous. That is like, did they scan? Like who, where did this sculpt come from? That is beautiful. And then Moving from there to things like the rust on the expanded oh, yeah. steel here. But wait, it gets it gets even more impressive. Over here, Norm, look at the faces of the equipment here. Oh, like they've dirtied, depth. right? Yeah. They've dirtied that stuff. And then if you come over here and you look at it from this side, these oscilloscopes all look amazing. I mean, every last thing in here is like you can just feel someone having so much fun designing and executing this. The interior door and window, the, the handles. Yep, yep. I mean, and again, like rusted at the top, right? Like, yeah, this is a really magnificent bit of. You know, this new vinyl application here for. Yep, yeah, for the worn out yeah, windows. Yep. Oh, man. And uh, I'm going to look in the engine here. Oh, beauty. I love the view from the inside through the windshield. Right? Yes, yeah, totally. It feels completely authentic. Wow. Dude, Blitzway is, that, you know, as someone who has spent a bunch of time thinking about weathering that piece, it is really lovely to see how they went and did it because they did just a magnificent job. And I mean, the whole color temperature shifts. Everything about it shifts into this, into this taupe, <laughs> into this beige rust and weathering, and it's gorgeous. You know, I could see places where you could still add a little bit extra at them. Like, it's driving through the, the corn for the wheat field, yes. right? Like, it's, you gotta have some of the extra detritus. Oh, a little bit of... Yeah, on, on, the, on the wheels, yes. on the tires. Totally. Oh, yeah, the license plate. The license plate looks gorgeous. Everything about this, man, it is um, it is an amazing time. Like, I keep saying this, but it is an amazing moment to be a collector of of things like this because it's done at such a high level, and you can even feel more than any other time that like the folks executing this are also fans, right? They're creating an experience, not just executing a brief. And that experience, I mean, you know, Ghostbusters has always been an experience of real love for the audience. Dude. I mean, it, it, it's also how weathering tells a story. Mm -hmm. I mean, when mm -hmm. you see the weathering, you place it in that film, it being pristine, it's, it's a little, I mean, I, it, they're completely different types of, yeah. of collectibles. Exactly, exactly. Wow. Just amazing. Uh, well, Adam, I'm glad you got the space. <laughs> I'm speechless now. I'm totally speechless. I need to go out and get one of the figures yes. to populate this. Yep. Yep. That, that's, you, you, you need a person standing here to kind of lend 
the final bit of scale. Was there, you said there was something different about the logo slightly. It uh, well, you know, so other people who've gotten theirs have noticed, you know, some variance in the decal application. I think this one's pretty good. It's pretty level on. So I was, I because I'm a graphics nerd and a font nerd, I was actually reading an article about the circle with the slash through it as a bit of graphic design. It doesn't seem that there is a definitive name for it. Okay. As a as a bit of typography, but um, in general, it holds to that the um, that the stripe here, which on the Ghostbusters logo comes from upper right to lower left, is in fact on all non-smoking signs on airplanes from the upper left to the it's lower reversed. right. Got it. And I believe in the original GB logo, it's at slightly less than a forty-five degree angle. And that correct usage is an exact 45 degree angle. And so they might have shifted the Ghostbusters logo to be a little bit more correct within the way the, the signs are dictated. We're gonna need a protractor. <laughs> um, even into the weathering, like the decals the look yeah. scratched up and beat up yeah. compared to the originals. Yeah. What yeah. a thing. I wanna shoot a special effects sequence. Um, wow. All right. Another one sixth vehicle to add to the collection. You got your GB1. Two more one sixth yes. vehicles. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife. Of course, we're very excited to see Frozen Empire. Frozen Empire. I mean, you know, we got to spend time on set. I can't wait to see how all the love that we saw on set rendered on screen. I'm so excited for the world to see this film. <sighs> Dude, I'm just going to. I. It, it, I in the interior is what really floors me on this. It has so much personality and so much story going on. Oh man, look at these tail lights. Frack. Only a hundred of these ever built. The millimeteor version of the Cadillac that became the ambulance. Insane. Many of which are in the hands of fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Raymond said to us that he has ridden in many, many, many Miller Meteors because almost all of them that are still around have been turned into Ghostbusters props. <sighs> I'm gonna get my camera, let's take yep. some photos, right. wrap Amazing. it up. Thank Dude. you again, Big Bad Toy Store, for yes. sending this. Uh, they have a small selection available for collectors who do want to add this to the collection. We'll have details and links in the description below. Uh, for now, more play. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for watching that video. I want to tell you about our demerit badges because we know that being a maker is a lifelong enterprise of trying new things and learning new skills and it is also about repeatedly messing everything up. And we like to celebrate that because failure is not just an option, it is intrinsic to the creative process. And to that end, we have three new bundles of demerit badges right now on tested-store.com. We've got your shop tool fails demerit badge bundle up here on top. Here in the middle, we have the everyday Day whoops demerit badge bundle. And at the bottom, we've got my favorite, the shit happens demerit badge bundle. You can get any one of these bundles and we are considering offering a bundle of all 24, not those, of all 24 demerit badges we have released, but we're not sure what to call it. You have a suggestion? Put it in the comments.